publicly about what happened. KTV's James Torres here now with their reaction to the shooting and James, the deaths of their co-workers. Yeah, Gossie, good morning to you. These interviews were coordinated with the group ALAS. They have been working with the families of each of those farm workers affected by the shooting. These farm workers asked their identities stay hidden and mostly told us their stories in Spanish. One man gave us a little insight on how some of the workers interacted with each other. He says he and his colleagues made friends with an elderly Chinese couple. There was a language barrier, but the woman would often offer them food. That relationship, he says, made the rough working conditions of the farms seem peaceful. He says that couple was killed when a gunman entered the Concord Farms, his second of two stops that day. It makes me feel sad because there are days where I feel it's not real, that they are all still here. We fantasize a lot. We start to shake. We don't know what to do. It's something that is really hard, and we feel it really hard. That man says he and his friends would try to use their phones to translate and communicate with that elderly couple, at one point even asking the woman how old she was but he was never actually sure what her answer was. Many of these farm workers returned to work this week. They say they like their jobs at those farms, mostly because of the flexibility it offers. The farms arrange for a drop off and pick up for kids in school. They allow workers to step away in cases of emergency without a problem. But many at this time are still working to make the decision whether to stay at the farm and find a way to work past the memory of violence or find another job and risk losing the peace and flexibility they work with. Dave?